Another miracle of Saint Alexander, fighting the demons. Saint Alexander began to uh, exercise himself in in uh, a lot of uh, fights that are uh, above the human soul and the human power. In hunger, in hunger, thirst, and the endurance of uh, the cold, hoping that um, with the time that coldness of uh, or the winter will avoid the the future internal hell. The demons, seeing that they are fighting, for, uh, they are fought so hard from the saints, and understanding that they are going to be exiled by him, tried from the beginning to terrify him. They uh, appear to him as uh, monsters or snakes and run uh, towards him and. Uh, with the shrink, uh, shrinking and uh, fierceness, uh, uh, wild fear, fierceness, and uh, uh, caused him a lot of uh, temptations. One night, Saint Alexander went to his hermitage, where he used to pray alone. When suddenly, uh, in front of him, there was a number, a great number of demons, like an army, a great army, and began to run and fall, fall over him with so fierce um, fierceness uh, to draw their teeth uh, while from their mouth they, you could see a big flame coming out of it <coughs> and fighting like that yeah, they, were, uh, they were calling him get get out of here get out of this place go away get uh, Get out, get out, so that you won't die with the fierceness, the fierceness uh, death and evil. The saint was a good fighter of uh, Jesus Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, and he was armed by prayers, didn't uh, fear at all of those demons, and because he knew that in their, their uh, soft and seek their soft and sick power, their, their, their power. His prayers coming out of his mouth as um, a flame, and a big flame which fought and burned and destroyed all those unpowerful legions of demons. Saint Alexander continued his uh, way and came to his hermitage when he did his usual prayers to God. So suddenly an angel with, with lit gown, a gown in, uh, appeared in front of him. Seeing, the, the, um, seeing him, the saint thought he felt fear, great fear, and falling to the ground stayed there like dead. The, the angel took him, took him by the arm and told him, I'm an, angel, I'm an angel of our Lord Jesus Christ, and God sent me to protect you from all the deceives of the evil devil and to remind you that the visions, the divine visions that you had seen in this place, uh, that you uh, are um, staying here because the, the commandments of the Lord must be executed. The Lord chose you to be a guide to many people for their salvation. So I declare to you that by the willing of the gods, it is to build in his place a church that it would be devoted in the name of the Holy Trinity and gather brothers and make a, 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 make a monastery. And since the angel said all that, he uh, disappeared. Uh, this comes from the Sivaiza of the North, a book uh, called about uh, uh, all those saints, pages 156-157. Uh, the next and the last uh, of the miracle of Saint uh, Alexander, not the last of his life, that's the last that I am the sinner, I the sinner translate. A big light. They knew the young Amos, who, who, who then was uh, called Saint Alexander, reached and crossed 
the um the sphere um the sphere river and continued to walk uh, very happy uh, uh saying uh, prayers to la to our lord that uh, place was very lonely and uh, had a lot of forest and uh, you couldn't cross through it it began to be, to be at uh, night and the young saints uh, started to find a place to sleep at night seeing that uh, in uh, a distance a lake he went towards uh, the, towards it the lake was very big but very beautiful and was surrounded by a big castle of uh, uh, of uh, was surrounded by a lot of trees a forest like the forest was a castle and the branches of the trees um uh, were leaning towards the water its distance from the river's veer was four miles the beautiful but beautiful in soul uh, saint was so so happy and prayed saying our oh, lord jesus christ guide me to um a place which is salvated for salvation then he prayed for a lot of hours with tears and went to sleep <clears throat> suddenly he heard a voice saying uh, young man the road you wish to take is leading to the monastery of uh, uh, the disfiguration of our lord in vala am go there in peace and fight there for a lot of time for our lord and then you will have this place you will build the monastery and a lot of people will be saved by you with his voice uh, 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 simultaneously he saw in that place a big light and saw a light that light coming on uh, and falling on to him and then um, he was very frightened and thought what could that mean and from his tears um, and from his eyes a lot of tears start running and then he he praised the lord and continued his way very happy while he was walking towards uh, the lord while he was walking he was praying to the lord to find a companion to know the way and speak well of the place and speak well and know the place well and the lord very soon heard his uh, prayer mm walking towards the road he saw a man walking same way <coughs> he was going to Valaam for a, a case of his own and um, the saint was very happy to find such a companion he walked with him for a few hours it was a way uh, which others were walking uh, with great difficulty and uh, when uh, they came clear to the monastery and that blessed um young men saw the uh, uh, church of the figuration of our lord he stood there and prayed with tears then reaching around him for his companion he could not see him so he understands that his good companion was god sent an angel and said thank you to the lord this also comes from the book the uh, thivaida of the north Pages one forty seven, one forty eight.